Good morning. Today we are talking about worship. We're going to talk about the importance of worshiping and taking Jesus and God with us all week long. So we all start our weeks pretty good, don't we? Yep. We start on Sunday with going to church or watching church online. And we all start by worshiping God in that time, which I feel like worshiping God is kind of that sweetness. So I brought sugar with me. I brought sugar with me to represent the sweetness it is when we worship God and God loves us to worship him. It's sweetness to his ears as well. So I brought my sugar here today and this we're gonna pretend is us. Okay, this vase is us and I've got our sweetness of sugar and we started our week really well this Sunday, didn't we? We are either watching online or going to church and we are worshiping God. So we are going to add our worship, that sugar, into our vase, okay? Let's do it. Pretty good, huh? We got a good amount of worship in us. Starting our week off well with Jesus and worshiping God and going to church. Now here's the thing. Now things in our week start popping up. Like, let's say, oh, it's almost time for back to school, Lainey. Pop a ball in there. We go back to school. Maybe we have dance lessons or karate or music lessons. Pop that in there, too. Maybe we're going to visit family and friends. Maybe we have some times to visit our family and friends. Go ahead. Pop that in there as well. Maybe we have to do a lot of work and housework. I know I do. And chores. And that starts coming up. So put on some chores. And then we have a lot more to do. Lainey, what happens if now we have to clean our rooms, like our mom says, or we have to go to a cool event? What happens if we do one of those things, Lainey? Can you get anything else in there? We had a lot of busy weeks, didn't we? We did a lot of busy things. And we still have more balls to put in in the busyness of our week. But we can't fit them in. Yes, we worshipped at the beginning. But by this point in our week, say it's Friday and we are stressed out. We can't fit anything more in our week. And we are overwhelmed. Well, you see, there's a simple way to fix this problem. Do you want to see the way? There we go. Let's take out the balls and let's see our way to fix this problem. Yes, it was very good that we worshiped on Sunday and that we had that sweetness of Jesus in our lives on Sunday morning. So we'll keep a little sugar down there for Sunday morning worship. But now we started our week well with our Sunday morning worship. Now let's put in the stress of life. The stress of starting school and chores. Go ahead. Chores and visiting friends. And let's see. Let's see what else we have. What else is kind of stressful? Um. Uh, homework. Maybe homework. Put that one in there. Maybe work work for me. Whew. Maybe now let's push it down. Let's see what else we can get in there. What else can we do? Um. Maybe just life in general, visiting with our friends. And now we've got all of those balls back in there. But what happens if we add the worship of God and we spend God time with God every day? What happens? That sweetness comes in and it surrounds all of those. And we are able to fit everything in our week. But we're also doing it with the sweetness of Jesus. We have to remember that we can worship God every day, not just on Sundays. We can have that sweetness of Jesus follow us throughout the week and our week would go better. And by the end of the week, we're not so overwhelmed and trying to squish everything in because we were able to talk to Jesus all week long and worship him and have that sweetness cover our whole week. Pretty cool, huh? Lainey, are you gonna make sure you keep Jesus in your heart all week and worship him? Kids at home, I know you'll do the same. We hope you have a fantastic week. Bye. Our lesson today reminds us of our scripture verse. This scripture verse is found in where? Micah. Micah 6, 6, 8. 6, 8. Micah 6, 8. And it says, what does the Lord require of you? To act 
justly, to seek mercy, and to walk humbly with our God. That means that we should be kind and we should be with Jesus and God in our heart all week long and always treat people with kindness and respect. All right, we hope you have a wonderful week. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye. Bye.